Hey guys, how are we doing today? This is Wally with LearnerNet.com. And if you guys are watching this uh, video today, it means that you want to create your very own website today. And uh, one of the ways to go about doing that with Mocha Hosts is obviously gaining access to their control panel or the C panel as it's most commonly uh, known. So what I wanted to do today is to share with you guys uh, more of the ins and outs of Mocha Hosts' control panel or C panel itself. Um, I already have a step-by-step -step tutorial that's on the site itself that shows you how to create the site so we're not going to do that today but i wanted to show you all of the tools and resources that you'll gain access to on the control panel and c panel if that's what you guys are wanting to do uh, today uh, if you guys are totally new here to this channel for learnernet.com you guys know what to do hit the subscribe button right below along with the bell and that way any future videos that i upload you'll be sure to receive them so i'm assuming that you guys already have an account with mocha host already if you don't, you can get started today by using the very first link below. We give you guys a nice discount off your web hosting. That way you'll be able to gain access to the control panel and uh, C panel that we're going to be looking at right now. So if you have an account already, what you're going to do is head over to Mocha Host. What you guys are going to do is just click on the very top right here where it says account login. I'm going to show you two ways that you can go about logging into your actual C panel or the control panel for Mocha Host. Okay. Uh, the very uh, first way, which is the easiest, you want to click on account login at the very top. When you do, it's just going to open up in another tab, this page right here, which is going to prompt you to plug in your um, your email that you have associated with your Mocha Host account. So I'm going to do that right now. Runnernet.com. And then I'm going to plug in my password. So plug in your password, whatever it is. And on the very next screen, guys, what you're going to be doing is you're going to scroll down to midway of the account itself on the back end of your dashboard. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And that way you're going to click on a button where you'll see you'll be able to gain access to your actual uh, C panel itself. So what I'm going to do is just hit login. I'll take you guys on the back end. That way you can see that as well. OK. All right, guys. So as I mentioned before, what you're going to do is scroll down like midway and you should see the actual domain name that's associated with your Mocha Host account. So in my case, I uh, created this account using this domain, bestcoldbeers.com. And uh, what you'll see, you can just click like right there. And what it's going to do right now is you're going to click on where it says log in to cPanel. OK, so you see some options right here where you can change your password for your account. You can actually log into webmail if you have webmail uh, set up with your account or you can actually set it up right there as well. OK, and you can upgrade or scale up to different um, plans that are with, you know, Mocha Host as well, all using this panel that's right here. OK, but we're just going to look at the C panel for now. So click on that. And once you guys click on it, you'll see something that pops up like this. This is the C panel or the control panel, if you will, for your actual account itself. And you guys will notice that there's several different uh, subsections under which the C panel is uh, divided. OK, so you have email where you can set up emails for your account. You have some Mocha tools itself, as you can see right here, where you can add an SSL certificate. Every website online should have an SSL certificate. Like you can see in my case with learnernet.com, have the padlock that's up here. So every website should have one. You need that. That way uh, when you know people search for you online and they're searching like how to do this or how to do that, and you know they see your website like in the SERPs itself, Google won't mark it uh, not secured, okay? So that's why you want SSL certificate. Uh, to do it, you can get it right here. You can set it up there. It's really easy to do. And uh, Mocha Host gives it to you for free with all of the accounts. With whatever account that you have, you know, with Mocha Host, you can get it set up, you know, with that. Okay. Um, you have like a billing section right here. So if you need to update something with your billing, maybe your debit or credit card that you're using to pay for your web hosting, you can do that right here. If you want to open like a ticket, maybe you have like an issue going on, you can do that there. If you want to like register like a new domain name itself, of course, you know, with a Mocha host, uh, with the plan that you select it, you got a free domain. But if you want to like add on domains itself, you can uh, purchase them through Mocha host. If you like, if you, if you do that, you can use this link to do that. And it's a really easy, uh, process. You know, once you log in right here and you pick out your domain name, a .com, .net, org, what have you, 
it'll automatically be added, you know, to your account itself. Typically with me, I like to buy them externally and I keep my uh, domain names and web hosting separate. And I like to buy them uh, at Namecheap because they're just cheaper and I could just point like the name service to the actual web host itself. And so if you want to do that, um, just drop like a comment right below and I'll show you guys how to do that. And um, it's really easy. But if you just want to keep it simple, keep everything on the one umbrella, you could just purchase all of your additional domains through Mocha Host. Perfectly fine. You can do that. And um, you can, you know, do that, you know, right with this uh, particular link right here. If you want to transfer a domain name, uh, like from another host to Mocha Host, you can do that here. As I mentioned before, you can upgrade and downgrade. Of course, the previous page that I showed you guys when you logged into your account dashboard, it allows you to do that as well. Uh, but you can upgrade and do all that here as well. You can access different files uh, and databases that um, are set up, you know, with your account itself. You can uh, set up uh, like additional backups for your website using a Jet Backup, uh, which is always recommended. Of course, there are WordPress plugins out there that can be used to, uh, you know, backup websites such as like Updraft and Duplicator. So many of them that are out there that you can use and easily install, you know, on your site itself. But Again, you have these tools and resources right on the back end under your control panel that allow you to do it uh, from, you know, the account itself. OK, you can check to see how much uh, disk space that you're actually using with your account itself. So you can keep tabs, you know, on that. If you drop down, you have access to different SEO and marketing tools with a Mocha host uh, out of the gate. So I think that's really good. You know, obviously, if you want to create a website, a blog, e-commerce store, you want people to, you know, find you online in Google, Yahoo, and Bing. And so you have to uh, SEO your website, make it, you know, SEO ready. That way, you know, people can find you online with different keywords that you're trying to target, you know, online. So all of these are tools that you have access to, even with link building, extremely important to be able to, you know, beat your comp competition that's out there uh, who maybe try to rank for the same, uh, keywords that you're trying to rank for, you know, online. Okay. And also they have some free email marketing tools, which are really great. If you look at uh, databases, you can have access to databases and actually be able to gain access to it remotely. Um, if you look at domains, this is a really important section right here where it'll basically allow you to see how many domains you have, you know, with Mocha Host under your account. You can add on domains. So in the case, like I mentioned before, like with Namecheap, if I buy like a domain name at Namecheap or you have a domain name uh, registered with another domain name registrar, you can add it on right here using this tab, guys. And that way you can use it um, or associate it rather with your account itself. If you want to do like redirects, let's say like you have a domain name with Mocha Host and you want to redirect it back to like another URL, another domain name itself. Uh, that you want like your visitors to go to you can do that by using this redirect tab and you'll see these two options that pop up if you want it to be permanent or temporary redirect um, you can just select the actual domain name that you have associated with your account and right here where it says redirect to you'll plug in the actual name of the website that you want people to go to so it's really really simple and easy to use guys um, and you have some like options right here you can redirect with you know like uh, the ww dot or without which is uh recommended to leave it there uh so don't change that that way if somebody types in in the browser itself um your website and they for some reason leave out like the www dot it'll automatically redirect either way so leave it there but again you can see um again all of the options and things that you can do with your mocha host uh, control panel if you guys uh, scroll down, what you're going to see now are metrics. So, you know, obviously you'll want to know how is it that people are arriving to your website. Uh, this section right here allows you to do that. Of course, you know, if you have like different plugins installed on your WordPress website, such as like um, Monster Insights, that's a really nice one. Or if you just have access to your Google Analytics, Google Console, of course, you can monitor that. Um, you know, directly from those panels. But this is just another area right here, guys, where you can see uh, how much bandwidth is being used, you know, with the traffic itself that's coming to your website. 
You can see how many visitors are coming to your website. How is it that they're arriving to your website? What keywords are typing in to make it to your website? This is just another uh, subsection, if you will, of your Mocha Host co control panel that allows you to do that. Of course, you know, we want our websites to remain safe online. I mean, we live in an era where websites are bombarded by malware, intrusions, uh, brute attacks, DDoS attacks, things of that nature. And so uh, Mocha Host has some really good uh, security measures in place already to protect your website. But as I mentioned before, you guys will get access to free SSL certificates, uh, which you can install, you know, from the back panel as well. So there's two subsections here that you can do it. This is another area as well. And Mod Security is really great for blocking uh, like malware and uh, again, like intrusions, attacks that may occur, you know, on a website if it's not uh, protected. So my security is already embedded in, um, you know, like your, your your website itself, if you will, to protect it. And this is just a way right here where you can look in and you can see different stats um, of how, you know, Mocahost is protecting your website, if that makes sense. Under uh, software, of course, you'll be able to create your site using different types of software, CMS platforms. WordPress is like the most popular out there. It's very user-friendly, uh, easy, doesn't require any knowledge of like HTML or coding. And so you have access to different types of CMS platforms in addition to WordPress, such as a Joomla, there's Drupal, um, there's PrestaShop, and others that are out there. It really depends on what you want to do in the way of like with the creation of your website itself. And so, again, I do have uh, tutorials on the channel itself that show you how to create uh, your website using WordPress. And so uh, this is a section itself where you will go about actually installing, you know, WordPress on your site itself, okay? Uh, PHP software, uh, you know, periodically with a Mocha host and every web host that's out there with the softwares that they use that, really govern like your speed and really security keeping your website you know safe itself uh, periodically the php software itself will be uh, updated and so uh, this is where you can actually change it manually if you want to so you always want to make sure that your website is uh, updated with uh, the right software itself and you're always using the most recent uh, software not only with php but just you know like wordpress when it updates and they fix different bugs um, or issues that may happen, you know, with the software itself, with the developers, you want to make sure that you always, you know, update everything uh, that is here. There are uh, website builders through Mocha Hosts, which is really nice. Again, you can use WordPress if you like, or if you want to create your site using Mocha Hosts site builder, you can do that, you know, right here. These are some other apps that you have access to as well and some advanced options as well that you may not need as a beginner right now if you're a developer or somebody who creates you know, multiple websites online for like clients. Of course, the subsection right here would be very useful to you with um, you know, like the, the cron jobs and everything that's right here with Apache. Uh, if you drop down under preferences, you guys can change your like password like for your control panel itself, update information like for your control panel and your account, you can change the language. So if you prefer a language outside of English, then you guys can like update it and change it, you know, maybe Spanish or French. And so basically this whole panel that we're looking at right now for Mocha Host, it'll show up in that actual language. And you can play around with the color scheme itself. Uh, right now, this is just a default, but if you wanna like change it, you can do that with this button that's right there. I talked earlier about different software CMS platforms that you have access to in addition to WordPress. As you can see right here at a glance, you have several that are made available to you and different systems that you can use, of course, to, you know, install it on. So this in a nutshell, guys, is the Mocha Host control panel and, um, you know, the cPanel itself. If you guys are familiar with cPanel, most web hosting providers use it and it looks pretty much the same. And this is Mocha Host's uh, that they have here. Now, another way that you can go about accessing your uh, particular um, cPanel itself is if you type in your actual domain name. So if I type in like bestcoldbeers.com forward slash cPanel, what you should see if you type in your domain name .com or .net.org, whatever it is that you have forward slash cPanel, you'll see a screen that looks like this. This is a secondary way to go about accessing it. And what it'll do, guys, it'll just prompt you to plug in your 
um, your your username and your password. So it takes a few seconds and you should see a screen that looks like this. Once you plug in that information and hit login, it's just going to bring you back here. So that is how you gain access to your control panel or cPanel for Mocha Host. I hope that you guys enjoyed this brief uh, YouTube tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them right below. Thank you and have an amazing day.